fit into this left right spectrum and Absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah there's lots of issues that um, the Greens yeah. would be on a, a more sort of liberal conservative spectrum on the same side as ACT I guess yeah, I mean, some issues yeah I mean I, 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 I mean I th the uh, it is typically things things like you know search and surveillance and, and sort of police powers um, and uh, impingement on on freedom of speech those those kinds of issues that we've ended up having a similar a similar conclusion even though probably the analysis that's led us to that point okay. has been different now students are quite interested in sort of social issues and moral issues that we asked you know participants that come along here so the usual one is age limit purchase age for alcohol what do you think I mean my, my view is 18 um, and, um, and and I know that you know I've, I've spent a lot of years in the public health sector and a lot of my public health friends and colleagues have a different view mm -hmm. um, but I think that this issue is is one that is more complex than simply about uh, about health consequences sure. it's a, the and I think that the um, in in the kind of matrix of decision making criteria actually a, a person's um, a, ability and right actually to to make decisions that may be damaging to their health also comes into it and I think 18 is 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 a, 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 a pretty good compromise of those positions I mean I think I'm, I am extremely concerned by alcohol related harm mm. but I think the 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 evidence that I have seen suggests that uh, the ways to the, the ways to influence that are much more about the the you know the advertising and marketing and availability sure. and price and all of those environmental factors rather than the so age. would you put up the price of alcohol would you like to yeah have? I would I would um, I, and I, I thought I thought it was um, uh, reprehensible that that um, John Key's first response to the Law Commission's report um, was well we're not putting up the price despite the fact that I mean literally I think it was the previous week we had been debating in the House uh, the, the uh, progression progressive increases to the tax on cigarettes and tobacco products which National had supported right you know so so how is how is the analysis different? There okay. is no difference in the analysis. Well, what about drugs then? People could say the same. Would you support the same purchase age for um, for illegal drugs? Yeah. I mean, uh, well, I mean, we don't we don't say we don't put all illegal drugs in the same category. In fact, what we recommend is pretty much what the Law Commission has has sure. ended up recommending too, which is a a single framework that looks right. at all drugs, including tobacco and alcohol. Mm. Um, in uh, with with the viewpoint of of minimising the harm related to the consumption of those products, so, and our policy, in fact, is for legalisation of cannabis from the age of eighteen. So, what about other drugs? Are you in favour of prohibition for I don't know, ecstasy or um, coke or other things that people use generally? Uh, our, our, our policy doesn't our policy doesn't extend extend to like specific positions on each of those things. Um, so, so what we talk about is is that is that consistent framework, and I think there's been some pretty interesting work in a variety of countries, actually, and including now in New Zealand, that's that's looked at what are the health effects of all, all of these drugs, yeah. um, how do they rank according to health okay. health consequences, and compare that to their current legal status, and there's yeah. very little correlation right. currently. So I think what we would what we would support it would be a a pretty thorough um, overhaul of, of the legislation. It's old legislation now, okay. with a viewpoint, with the, with the view to to having that consistent approach based on harms. So, okay, so you want a more rational approach yeah. to the regulation, but that does still include prohib uh, prohibition on some drugs. Is that what you're saying? Um, I, I, mean, I think it's likely to end up with a prohibition on some drugs, but I, you know, I, I can't say for sure that that's what's what the consequence will be of of that process. So now. We've got a fixed endpoint on cannabis in the sense that we we do say mm. that um, it it should be legal. But that's kind of at the easy end of the spectrum, isn't it? Well, yeah, it is, and that's probably why we've got a fixed you know fixed mm. view on that. Whereas mm. for the 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 the, 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 the harder drugs, the, the trickier issues to to address, we're saying let's just have a good process. I and mean, it's it is interesting to look at what's happened in a country like 
Portugal that's that's taken a sort of a, a much more liberal view mm. to to pretty well all drugs, um, and according to the material that people send me, <laughs> uh, which may not be a, an entirely comprehensive sample, I'm, mm. I'm willing to admit, it seems like that's actually worked out pretty well. You know, that's not necessarily to say that it would work well here. We would entirely different culture, but. I think it's really worth lo worth looking at those things. Okay. Um, gay marriage, I presume you're all in favour. Yeah, absolutely. Although, I mean, what, what I mean, what I say is, uh, we want absolutely equivalent legal status, um, and that I mean, the the easiest way of doing that is is to extend um, the Marriage Act to incorporate same-sex couples. Mm. Um, the other way of doing it is to actually repeal the Marriage Act, you know, because actually... Um, the, does that mean the, abolishing the, marriage or...? Well, the, I mean, the Marriage, marriage Act is, is, is uh, about the, the state's treatment um, of uh, a sort of a voluntary uh, relationship that people have entered into. Um, if, if marriage as a status were abolished, then... Um, then uh, different sex couples would still have access to civil unions, which mm. actually uh, accomplishes the same legal treatment right. that, that the Marriage Act does. And churches would still be able to do weddings, mm. you know, so that, you know, I'm not trying to change the way that, way that churches deal with stuff. Sure. I'm just trying to actually ensure that the state deals with same-sex couples in the same way that it deals with different mm. sex couples. As I say, I mean, the, the, it's kind of fanciful to imagine that Marriage Act would, would be repealed, but uh, I, mean, I think more likely what we're going to see is extension of the Marriage Act to incorporate same-sex couples. And, and might I say, the Green Party um, has that as policy, and all Green Party MPs would vote for that as a matter of policy, unlike Labour, where, where actually Labour says now that they've got a, a, a policy that kind of support same-sex marriage, but actually, since they intend to make it a conscience vote, I'm not sure what the policy really yeah. means. So is that a, is that a cop-out on the Labour Party's part, do you think? I, I'm, I, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm disappointed that, that Labour has not made the jump away from a conscience vote, because actually, if, if you've got a policy but your MPs are free to vote against it... That's not really I, a policy. I, I don't know what it means, yeah. It seems, okay. my impression from the, the Labour Party people we've had here on Vote Chat as well, that a lot of them don't seem to think it's, it's an issue at all. Not, like they have mm. a very vague kind of position on it and they don't... Yeah, that's don't. been quite interesting that they say, well, yeah. gay people don't really want um, this addressed. Yeah, um, which... well, I, I mean, it's, look, I, I mean, I've been together with my partner now for 27 years. Mm. You know, we, we, um, we think that's pretty good, actually. Um, <laughs> And, um, and uh, we have chosen not to enter into a civil union. Um, we probably wouldn't get married. But the issue is, is not so much about the substance as the signal. It's the semiotics yeah. of law. You know, what, what does a law say to mm. the public um, about the position of the state? Mm. And uh, by having a different status for same-sex couples, than, than the state has for different sex couples with no rational basis for that, for that differentiation, the state signals a second class status yeah. for, for, for gay and lesbian people. And that's unacceptable and it has to change. Okay, we're running out of time, so just to finish up, I just wondered if you'd share some of your insights and predictions into what's going to happen on November 26. Um, running through some of the parties, uh, what about MANA? Are they going to be around still? Uh, yeah, I think they will be. Um, I think I think Hone will hold Taitokoro. Um, I am much less convinced that that any other mana um, mana uh, members will will come in with Hone, and I think it probably reflects the fact that um, Hone is their their, their um, main asset, um, and because he actually faces you know, some fairly stiff competition mm. in Taitokoro to hold that seat. He's not, he's not around to campaign right. throughout the country. So. so the party vote won't be what it might have been otherwise? I, I don't think it will be. No. Sure. Yeah. Okay, the Murray party? Well, I, I, I mean, my guess would be that they'll be back with three seats, I think. Um, 
I th yeah, I mean, the, it would be interesting to hear Rahui's experience mm -hmm. on the campaign trail next year, but um, my guess would be that um, that, that Labour will take to Taitonga. So. OK. Mm -hmm. Do you think we can assume that they would want to stay in a national coalition? Should national be the government? Um, no, I don't think we can. I mean, I think... Um, I mean, my, my own sense of things, actually, on election night in 2008, is that if you, if you assume that actually the Māori Party could have gone either way, and actually I believe then that they could, and I believe that the same would apply in, yeah. in, uh, in, in this year's election, yeah. that actually the difference between uh, a national-led government and a Labour-led government is actually only a couple of, couple of percentage points. And I think uh, the Māori Party's experience of being in in government with mm. national mm. Uh, has has not been a happy one, and so I'm I'm um, I mean my view is that they they probably are not committed to going with national at all. Okay, act are they Who's going that? back? <laughs> that really minor party. Well, I understand that John Key's having a cup of tea with John Banks this afternoon, and I. Um, I hope that the people of, of Epsom are um, by this time heartily sick of being led around by the nose. So if you were there, you would vote for Paul Goldsmith? It would be hard to bring myself to do it, I have to say, Bryce, but <laughs> I might well do, yeah. OK, and Labour, are they going to um, be able to scratch their way back up or are they going to be in the 20s? No, look. I, I, I mean, my view is that Labor will, um, the, the will, will climb from where they are at the moment. They will, um, and I think National will come down from where they are at the moment. Um, Considerably, or just a notch or two. Um, I, I look, it, it, it's hard to know. I mean, we're, two, we're two weeks out, and I mean, uh, two weeks. If a week's a long time in politics, two weeks is an eternity. But um, I mean, my, my, the, the feeling that I'm getting on the campaign trail, and I'm. Campaigning, of course, for for the Green Party vote, both in both in West Coast Tasman, where I where mm. I live, but actually around the country. And the sense I'm getting from audiences is that it's a lot closer um, amongst amongst voters who are committed to voting um, than than the polls would indicate. So I, I I think it's actually still game on, personally. Okay, well that means that we might have a more interesting final two weeks than some of us are. Being led to believe. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm a pretty, um, pretty optimistic guy, actually. And, and green, you know, Greens are pretty positive and optimistic people, actually. So, um, so <laughs> that's where I come from. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, thanks for joining us today and um, sharing that with us. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Bryce.